Yeah, I didn't, uh, didn't do a good job of getting the team ready for this game. Just the, uh, the physicality of the game. The, uh, you know, just, uh, you know, I think we, we forced them to miss the shots early in the game, but we couldn't put the ball in the basket. Just uh, really inefficient on offense. So we got to go to the drawing, back to the drawing board and, and you know, see what we can do to, to change uh, you know, that type of effort. It just wasn't, wasn't great. But it starts you know, with the coaches making sure that you know, the guys are armed with everything that they need to, to be ready to play. Um, again, say, you know, really good team. And you know, Northwestern is, uh, you know, physical, tough, uh, you know, very disciplined, uh, got great guard play. So they're, they're a good team. But, uh, you know, we were, uh, we were terrible in the first half, especially. I know that you're disappointed in the game in a vacuum, but isn't is it even more disappointing after having the loss you had against TCU uh, not to see the team uh, bounce back? Is that maybe more disappointing than the loss itself? Yeah, I mean, if you just you have to respond. We, we're, not, I mean, we're not we're not as tough as we need to be right now. We're, uh, you know, we're kind of melting out there, and, uh, you know, as, as teams are, uh, you know, coming at us, we, we don't have a response. We're, uh, you know, we're not making shots. You know, we're just we're, we're missing free throws. We're we're kind of across the board. It was uh, I think we were tied with one of the Northwestern players at halftime. And that's how bad we were. You know, down on the floor. So you know, we, we got to look at it um, and evaluate it and see what changes we need to make and how we need to play at that end of the floor just to give ourselves a better chance to stay in the game. It's just it was crazy that that Adam you know was shooting an open shot. To cut it to 14, just as bad as we were. I just I was shocked at that. But uh, so, um, but yeah, we have to do better than that. Michelle, Frankie, can you talk about how difficult it is uh, when things are going wrong as a point guard, trying to motivate the team uh, and just change the narrative? Yeah, but first I would say. Um, it's not the coach's fault. As players, we gotta go out there and we gotta perform. They give us a great game plan every game before the game, and we just gotta execute. Can you please ask your question again? Ask your question again, Michelle. Sure. Can you ask your question again? I'm sorry. Oh. I just had to. Okay. Uh, how hard is it to motivate the team and, and try and keep the spirits up when it seems like everything's going wrong and against you? I mean, it gets difficult sometimes because I mean, as a team right now, mentally we're soft, so. We go out there, and sometimes we don't we don't fight back when people punch us in the mouth. So I mean, sometimes it's hard to give us that extra motivation, but sometimes it's not. It all depends on how we respond. Questions? The mic, Chris, up there. Frankie, just to follow up on that, why? What is it about this team that makes you guys feel like you're doing something right now? Uh, it's just when we face adversity, you see how sometimes we get punched in the mouth. We don't, we don't, we don't fight back. I think, I think we got to go out there and just continue to play hard, no matter if shots are falling or not. I mean, I've said that plenty of times in press conferences. We got to play hard. That's the only way our offense is going to translate. So if we want to make shots, we got to play in transition. If we can't be stopped, we can't do that. Right, Bobby, what's your, what's your sense on that? And is this a surprising thing to see happen? I just think. Uh, I've used the word trust a lot. Talk about trust, unity. You know, uh, yeah, the offensive end. I, I feel like, you know, there's there's the connectivity level which just isn't there for whatever reason, and there isn't joy in someone else's success the way it needs to be. And this is a team sport, and it's hard enough to beat your opponent if you're, uh, you know, if you're if you're not happy for your teammate, and if your teammate doesn't know if if, if the guy standing next to him has his back. Then, then it's a lonely feeling out there. So I think some of it is that, especially at the offense and the floor. You, you tend to give a lot of freedom to your guys. Do you feel like they're settling too much? I, I mean, I, uh, you know, we had some set plays we, we wanted to run. We, you know, we try to want to take advantage of, of Frankie uh, today and our guards if they could get downhill. I thought we had an edge there to try and get to the pain. Frankie was able to successfully do that. Um, I, it's not my nature to, to put a stranglehold on the offense and 
and have us run a set play every possession. I, I have to trust uh, the judgment of, of our players, especially when you're facing a team like Northwestern, if they get their defense set consistently, so it's, it's going to be tough to, uh, to defeat a team like that. So you, I want to give the guys some, some freedom. Uh, but we were, uh, I, I don't think it was as much that. We just, I mean, if you review some of the shots, I think that, that there were some who were wide open shots that just were not made. So it's just, if you're playing in, in this level in a doubleheader like this tonight, and you had a, a wide open shot and you couldn't make it, and that's not a good sign because I don't think there's going to be a lot of wide open shots in the next game. And if they are, I think most of them are going to go in the basket. So I think it's, uh, it comes down to that too, just everybody kind of looking in the mirror and, uh, and seeing what they need to, to do to step up. One more. Nick. Mike. Mike and then Nick. Coach, from a defensive standpoint, I know you're saying too that I mean, was there something in the game that you feel that the communication on the court I mean, between the guys was a little bit off? Because it just seemed like that stretch there kind of late in the first half, it just seemed like offensively they were pretty much moving around doing what they wanted to do. I think, I, I think it touched on just what, what Frankie was saying. I think you could just almost take exactly what he said. We, we allowed um, our ineffectiveness on offense to, to carry over into how we were defending and uh, had multiple efforts. and. All the things you need to do to, to get stops, um, you know, we, I think summed it up perfectly. The end of the half, where we're just slapping at the ball like on a rebound, and then we just slap it to them, and then they go and score right at the end of the half. And it was just that was symbolic, just of, of the whole half. I'll say this though, I'm, uh, you know, I'm a fighter, and I'll keep pushing. And uh, you know, Coach Kimber and I talked about this, you know. We worked very hard to, to make this, uh, you know, an NCAA tournament program, and we did that last year. It was a really fun team to watch. And we're not having a great season right now, but we're going to fight, you know, for the program and do what we have to do uh, to, to change this and see who wants to move forward with us and have uh, be about the right things and who doesn't. And uh, and we'll find out a lot the next couple of weeks. But uh, you know, very highly disappointed with where things have gone from this time last year to, uh, to where we are right now.